Hey everybody, welcome back to the Freeloader Challenge. My name is Mikey Millions and I am on a mission. My goal is to make enough money doing silly little tasks on the internet to buy an apartment in order to make a real estate investment. I'm very proud of having made over $6,000 so far and I want you guys to join our free Discord and hang out in the Freeloader Fair channel where we just exchange ideas all day about how to make more risk-free money off the internet. And with about 50% of you about to lose your jobs in this recession, now is the time for you to get good at becoming a freeloader. This is going to be a very difficult freeloader challenge episode for me to make because I somehow need to convince people of something that I'm seeing. It is possible to exploit inefficiencies in the sports betting market in order to make risk-free money. That's a very difficult thing for me to do because the people watching these videos are used to trading stocks and options. If you're new here, welcome. But I think by and large, people watching this video are used to trading in an environment where there is no such thing as arbitrage. A $140 Apple call on Robinhood will be the exact same price as the same call on Fidelity. You cannot buy on one and sell on the other and expect to make money. If you're doing that, you're not really arbitraging, you're just trading. But sports betting is a completely different animal. The odds on the Eagles-Giants game will be different on Barstool versus on DraftKings. So by betting on one team on one app and the other team on another, if we arbitrage effectively, it is possible that no matter what the outcome, we still profit. And if we're using free bets provided by the sports books themselves, now we're making even more guaranteed money without even involving our own cash. This is called sports betting arbitrage. And in this video of the Freeloader Challenge, I'm going to show you how to exploit arbitrage opportunities and free bet conversions in order to guarantee a profit every time you place a wager. To show you how invested I am in this, I've been taking all the money that I'm making from things like focus groups and surveys and putting it right into my sports betting apps. That way I'm increasing the size of my bankroll to make sure that I am getting even more risk-free money every time I wager. And in addition, all these sports books now think I'm a high roller, so I'm getting VIP points at things like MGM hotels every time I place a bet. They have no idea that I'm arbitraging. I spent most of the summer researching and testing this to make sure it's proper freeloading before I put it in front of you guys. Then I dipped my feet in a little bit in September, and now as of mid-October, I'm going in more aggressively. I plan on increasing the size of my bankroll until I'm at Leafy Greens' level, who regularly makes over $1,000 a month. Find him in our Discord. This is a lot of fun and you make great money, so let's get into it. Here's the approach. Step one is to get paid to sign up to sports betting apps. I'll talk about how to do this in a minute. Step two is to receive deposit matches as free bets, up to $1,000 per sports book. Almost every sports book is doing at least some of this. Step three is to wash those free bets for guaranteed income. And step four is to continue arbitraging to make a trickle of money and be rewarded with more free bets or other perks. A website called Free Cash will help us on step one, and another called Odds Jam is going to help us with the others. People who are really committed to this will travel across multiple states in order to open up dozens of sports books. Each state will have its own app, so you can open up MGM in Pennsylvania, New York, and New Jersey, and you'll get free bets from all three. That's thousands of dollars in free bets that you can then wash. Now, I'm not saying you need to do all that, but if you're a truck driver who drives across multiple states all the time, this is not such a bad idea. Now, let's explore these steps with more detail. For step one, we need to sign up to sports books. Depending on your state, you may have many sports books available to you, or you may have very few. New Jersey and Virginia, where I live, are two states where you can sign up to any sports book you want, and Minnesota is the worst. The casinos in Minnesota are concerned that online sports betting will decrease their foot traffic and they're blocking legislation that would make the industry legal. For everyone not from the land of a thousand lakes, you can just download sports apps on your phone or desktop, but I very strongly recommend doing this through a service like Free Cash. On Free Cash, for example, you can join MGM and FanDuel and receive a financial reward for doing so. You were gonna sign up to those anyway, so you might as well do it through them and receive more bonus. So comb the sports books on Free Cash or a similar service, Swagbucks is one of them, and download as many as you can afford to fund with your freeloader income. You'll get a bonus reward if you use my referral to free cash in the description. Then for step two, we will fund these sports books with our freeloader income. Pay attention to the signup promotions. Most will offer you either a deposit match of X dollars on your first deposit or a quote, second chance bet up to X dollars if your first bet loses. For our purposes, you will want to deposit that limit up amount of money to maximize your returns. Once you have downloaded your apps, if you still have freeloader money left, we can access the website Odds Jam for more bonus referrals to other services. Or if you want to be a bro, I invite you guys to share your own referral links in the description of this video so we can support each other. I won't be sharing mine because that would interfere with the freeloader challenge accounting, 
but I invite you guys to share and use each other's referrals to the sports books to get additional free bets. I will have to turn off comment filters on this video in order to allow that link sharing, so just be careful what you click on. The goal of this step is to open as many sports books as you can afford to fund. Feed off of those free bets to the maximum extent. And step three is to wash that free money. Now there are two approaches that you can use to do this. Method A is to simply bet on opposing teams with your free bets. If MGM and FanDuel both offer you a $500 free bet, you can pit them against each other and one of those will win. You will use $1,000 of free bets and maybe make $250 of profit. This is because you do not get your stake back when you win a free bet. You only get the earnings. So if you bet $500 of free bets on a favorite to win, you might only get $250 at the end, not $750 as though you bet $500 of real money. This problem eats into your returns very quickly. There's a better way to maximize efficiency. Method B is to wash your free bets against real money. Take your $500 free bet and use Odds Jam's free bet converter. This is the method that I use. To show you an example, here's Auburn versus LSU on October 1st. LSU is the favorite. Odds Jam tells us that it can wash 75% of our free bet. If we click the calculator, this tells us we should put our $500 free bet on Auburn and put a $1,125 normal bet on LSU. No matter which team wins, we get a $375 profit. Now we've only used $500 of free bets instead of $1,000, and we already got more money. We can use our other $500 free bet to do this again on another game and maybe make $750 in total. Even better, if that bet on LSU was one of those money back bets and it loses, you'll get your wager back in free bets and can wash it further. Method A is cheaper because you need a lot less money to do it, but method B is a lot more profitable. I initially used method A, but now that I've been at this for a while, I swapped to method B and I'm not looking back. And step four is to continue arbitraging to pull free money. By doing this, you are putting on wagers, and the sports books will award you for your betting and offer you more deposit matches or more free bets. When you get offered those, take advantage and perform them like you did in step three. Odds Jam facilitates this step with their arbitrage calculator. Without it, you will not find arbitrage opportunities. Instead, you will be guaranteeing that you lose money. You must be using the right game pairs in order to make this arbitrage income. Arbitrage betting is really the key to making this work, and I don't want there to be any confusion on how to pull it off. So I took this recording of myself setting up a bet for this Sunday when the Giants play the Jaguars. The arbitrage isn't huge on this one, it's only 1.67%, but I didn't think to record until after I had already done a bunch of arbitrage today, like this very high about 10% one on NHL player Connor McDavid. I'll show you some more bets from today in a little bit. For now, let's check the example. I've got Odds Jam open on my computer, and I'll enter the bets on mobile. You can do this all on mobile if you want to, but I like having the multiple screens. Odds Jam has recognized that if we take the Giants plus 12.5 points to win on MGM, and take the Jaguars minus 12.5 points on points bet, then we can lock in a 1.67% profit. Quick lesson on these odds, a positive odds is the amount of additional money you win if you bet $100. So this plus 300s means that for every $100 you bet, you'll get an additional $300 of winnings. This makes it an underdog. A negative means how many dollars you must bet to win an additional 100. So this minus 275 means you must bet $275 to win $100 of earnings. This is an extreme favorite. You really don't even need to know that, this is just for your curiosity. So let's go ahead and set this up. On BetMGM, I'll navigate to the NFL tab, and I'll search for the Giants vs. Jaguars on Sunday at 1 p.m. Scroll down until I find it, here we go. We'll select that, and it brings up possible wagers. This arbitrage bet is a points spread, so we are adding 12.5 points to the giant score and selecting them as the winner. So I need to go to full game points spread wagers, and I'll make sure I'm selecting the giants plus 12.5. I'll hit see more and scroll down to the giants plus 12.5 and that negative 275 matches what Odds Jam is showing me, so we are in the right place. I'll queue that up, but I won't submit it yet because I want to make sure that there's no problem setting up the other side of the wager first. So I'll jump over to points bet and do the same thing. I'll navigate to the NFL tab to see all upcoming games, and then I'll scroll down to the Giants versus Jaguars. Now I need to select Jaguars minus 12.5, so I'm selecting the Jaguars to win by more than 12 points. Down on the bottom, we have pick your own spread. So I'll open that up and scroll down to select the Jaguars minus 12.5. You'll notice that this is different than the layout on MGM. We have to get used to the layouts of different sports books. They're all gonna be a little bit different. You just have to get used to navigating them. 
here's the Jaguars minus 12.5 at plus 300 odds. That's the same as what we have on Odds Jam, so we are in the right place. I'll cue that one up, and now I need to decide my wager amounts. I'll select the arbitrage calculator, and this will tell me how much to bet on each end to make sure I take a profit. Since the odds are very different, we can't bet the same amount on both legs because then we'd lose money if the favorite wins. Let's just punch in 200 on points bet, and that tells us we would need $587 on MGM to balance it out. It's way too high. So let's try $150 on MGM, which is favored to win at minus 275, so we would only need 51 on points bet to guarantee a profit. The problem here is we generally want to use round numbers ending in five or zero when we do arbitrage. That way our bookies don't recognize it. And I'll talk more about that in the best practices section of this video. So let's tinker again. Let's do 160 on MGM. That puts us at $54.55 on points bet. And I'll round that to $55. So there's our answer. $160 on MGM, $55 on points bet. That'll lock in about $3.60 of gains and bring me some VIP points at MGM hotels and casinos. All right, now let's lock in the wager. We're gonna queue up $55 on points bet and then flip over to MGM. Nothing has changed on the odds, so I'll enter my $160 bet over here and submit. And then I will flip back over to points bet and submit. All right, that bet is entered, and now to track my stats, I'll add this to my Odds Jam bet tracker and modify it to indicate that I put $55 on points bet. When I look at my pending bets, it indicates that I bet $215 between the two books, and I'll make $5 of profit if the Jaguars win, and $3.18 if the Giants win. This variation is because I bumped up the points bet side to $55 instead of $54.55. Now all that might have felt like it's a lot of hassle, but that's because it was a tutorial. You can see some of the other open bets that I have now. Between 9.07 and 9.11 this morning, I placed three wagers in those four minutes. So these bets really only do take a minute to enter. Spend 10 minutes a day placing arbitrage bets instead of scrolling Instagram and you will absolutely get your time's worth. Some advice for making this more rewarding in between those free bet conversions, pay attention to which sports books give you odds bonuses on different days. For example, Bet Rivers gives you a 20% MLB game bonus every Tuesday. So instead of making 0.92% on this Padres Dodgers game, I will make 5.5%. This might sound like a lot of work, but after you've done it a couple times, it's as simple as downloading apps and moving some money around. And in exchange for doing so, you're getting extra money every time you care to wager, and you're receiving VIP points from your bookie every time you do so. I very strongly recommend sports betting arbitrage as a freeloader method, and with Odds Jam and Free Cash facilitating additional bonuses, this is an 8 out of 10 on the freeloader scale. Now, why is it not a 10 out of 10? All right, let's talk about the risks and the trade offs. Now, there's no actual monetary risk when you're doing sports betting arbitrage, that's kind of the point. But there is the risk of user error, and this should not be underestimated. Each app will have a different interface, and it's very easy to make a mistake and place the wrong wager. I also made the mistake on one of my first bets, in which I bet on one team on one app, and then realized I didn't have enough money in the other app to place the opposing wager. So I was at a risk of losing money. I did get lucky and I won anyway, but that could have been a loss if the game had gone the other way. There's also the risk of the odds of the game changing in between when you place your bets. So if you enter your bet on FanDuel, and then you go over to the other app and you try to place your bet on DraftKings, it's possible that in that one or two minutes, the odds on the game changes, and this happens pretty often. So in order to protect yourself from this, set up both wagers on the opposing apps, but don't click submit until you're done setting up both. That way you can just go from one, click submit, go right over to the other, click submit again. By doing that, you have narrowed that window in which odds can change down to a couple of seconds, and it's very unlikely that you'll get screwed. Another risk is more like a barrier. These apps do take up storage on your phone, and I've got a 2017 iPhone X where the storage is pretty much full. So I'm running into problems where I can't download as many sports apps as I'd like to to get the free bets. You can definitely get around this by using your desktop to bet instead of your phone. But if you have a Ryzen Fios, like I do, that makes it notoriously difficult for their tracking widgets or whatever to find out what state you're in and therefore the apps won't work on desktop. I don't know why Verizon Fios is like that, but it just so happens that I have the one service where you can't bet on desktop. I have to use my phone. And another barrier, you can't place enormous trades. These 1% returns each day would be Ponzi-like if it was possible to scale up infinitely. Of course, you can't bet $10,000 on some piddly little game. 
You could probably do that with something like the Super Bowl, and you could get a good 1% return off of something like that. If you try to put $15,000 down on the A's versus the Texans in order to get a 1.5% arbitrage, you're going to run into some barriers. The sports books won't let you do that. What you should do is use round numbers when you place your arbitrage bets. Cut off the pennies. That way, the bookies are less likely to realize what you're doing and they won't raise an eyebrow at you. And your last risk, to do anything other than method A on step 3, you need odds gem. And your winnings have to cover the cost of your subscription for it to be worth it. Under normal circumstances, getting access to arbitrage and a host of other tools is $199 a month. That's way too high for freeloaders. If you want the positive EV tool, then it's worth it, and I'll cover that once I graduate into it in the next month. But for arbitrage, that's not a tenable price. But I fought for you guys because I love the freeloader community, and after some negotiation, Odds Jam agreed to make a secret kamikaze cash tier just for us. You get the plus plan at $39 a month and everything it includes, but they're going to add the arbitrage tool from the industry plan to the plus plan, and that'll make it the kamikaze plan. You'll get your 7 day free trial before billing, and then the first month will be $39. After that, it's $99 a month. If you're unsatisfied for any reason in the first 30 days, you can cancel for a full refund. I tell you now, you're not going to need to worry about it. Since I got serious about this in September, and especially now in October, I've had no problem at all covering those costs. And if you effectively wash the free bets that you get when you sign up to these sports books, then you'll probably cover the entire year's cost before you even start doing arbitrage. I wish I had done that when I signed up to these sports books instead of using method A, but I didn't really have any coaching, that's why I missed out. But if you use method B of step 3 as I described, you'll have no problem with this. If you want to use the Kamikaze plan, use my link in the description to sign up for the $39 a month plus plan and type Type promo code Mikey, M-I-K-E-Y. Odds Jam will put you into the Kamikaze tier on the back end. And for people like myself, the cost of this is all a tax write-off anyway. It might be a tax write-off for you as well, so you should consult an adult, preferably a CPA or other tax professional. So I would recommend giving it a shot, and if it's not right for you, just quit. They won't charge you anything. Jump in on this plan that I've created, get used to laying on some bets, and rake in that free money. A dividend stock like Coca-Cola might give you 4% a year, but you can get that in like a week of sports betting arbitrage. Start small, place small bets, get used to the interface, and avoid user error. If you do that, you will continuously rake in free money every time you take the time to wager. I'll keep you guys updated on my progress with this in the Freeloader Challenge roll-up videos. Again, I encourage all of you to share your referrals to the sports books in the comments section. Use each other's referrals to sign up. That way you're really stacking on that free money by washing those free bets. And use my referral to free cash for the sign-up bonus and odds jam to get your 7-day free trial. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope to see you on Discord in our Freeloader Fair channel. See you next time.